Okay, for 9b, uh, we're given all this information up here, but actually all you have to really be concerned about is this quadratic formula here. They tell you that initial velocity is 72 feet and angle 25 degrees. Actually, that information you don't even need to use in this particular problem. It's giving you that information just to tell you where the formula itself came from, but on the actual test, it will just provide you with a formula that you can use. So the most important thing is just looking at the quadratic formula that you have here. Now these two questions, it's asking you for, um, so this is basically modeling when you throw a football, it's modeling the height. Uh, T is, your, is in seconds, and it's, it's gonna be, give you a height after a certain time. So it's saying determine the time at which the ball reaches its maximum height. And we wanna round that to the nearest hundredth. All that's really asking you for is to use the negative b over 2a formula. Whenever it says min or max and you have a quadratic that's given, you've got to use the vertex formula. Now since the independent variable here is t, we're going to use t equals negative b over, over 2a formula that we're going to use here. So in this case, the b would be this 30.4, so we're going to do negative 30.4. In the bottom we have negative 2 times a, or 2 times a, so we have 2 times negative 16. The negatives are going to cancel, we'll get a positive number as a result, which we should get for something like this. And if you divide that in your calculator, uh, you get 0.95 seconds. Okay, so that would be uh, the first part. So that's the time at which it's going to reach its maximum height. Now part two actually asks you for what is the maximum height, so when you, when you want to find the maximum height here, we're going to put 0.95 back into the original equation. So we're going to do h of 0.95, and we just put that into here uh, for all the t's, so there's two places that we're going to uh, put this in, and then you want to just put this in your calculator to get the answer. So we put 0.95 in squared, we do all that. When you put that all into your calculator, what you're gonna get as a result is uh, 19.44 feet. Uh, again, hundredth means that you're rounding to uh, two decimal places. So that's, so for the first part, for I, the answer is 0.95 seconds. And for part double I, you're gonna get 19.44 feet.